There's nothing for me out there. This door has been creaking for years. One of the many things I promised I would fix. Why don't you fix it then? I have this gut feeling that I shouldn't leave just yet. I have this gut feeling that someone died. Come sit with me. I want to talk. There's something I have to tell you. Uh... I have been trying, and believe me, I've been trying so hard. I almost have it. What was she trying to tell me? I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. Of course, we made love here, too. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things mm. deteriorated. You. The most comfortable spot in the cabin, well, along with the bed, of course. Someone said, work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us. Was it Freud or Marilyn Monroe? <laughs> There's quite a difference there. Did I let my work destroy my love? Writing was so all-consuming for me, yet I made so little headway in all this time. It all seems so meaningless now drained of everything that made it worth reading in the first place. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Of course not. Maybe he's a zombie. Now I'm scared of turning around. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. Hmm. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I open this now. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? <laughs> Necronomicon. Of course not. Without any activity, the corner feels cold and lifeless. Like you? I'd give anything to see her standing here again. Making coffee or sandwiches. I made my own too, of course, but it just made me happy to see. Damn, I can't even remember what her favorite meal was. Hmm. You weren't very attentive, were you? Look, I said I would do it. Will you just sit down over there? I'll make you something we can both enjoy eating. Uh, looks like things got sour. I think it dates from the colonial era. Probably brought over by the pilgrims. That's an old stove. It belongs in a museum. An archaeologist could excavate the layers of food forever <laughs> welded onto this and learn about the days when other beings ruled the earth. Other beings? I think it dates from the colonial era. Probably brought over by the pilgrims. Okay. It feels like the mechanic changed a bit. All those moments we sat at this table, laughing, smiling, or simply looking in each other's eyes. Will we have them again someday? This table has seen many happy times. The meals we shared, or when we just used to stay up late with a bottle of wine and talk. Oh, how we talked. And talked, and talked. I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. <laughs> what the? This is getting creepy. I don't know if that's just me, but... How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. That ticking. It never stops. I've wasted so much time in my life. Did I ever take a break to show her how much I truly cared? That incessant noise! I should smash this useless antique to pieces right now! It can't keep the time for five minutes straight. 
chimes completely at random and never stops making that infernal noise. But hey, guess who thought it was so cute? You could just get it fixed, man. Or get a new one. Don't be a dick. This thing has caused me more sleepless nights than I care to remember. No wonder I'm going crazy. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I guess they're not together anymore. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Then throw it away. I torture myself trying to remember. I don't know. I'm too upset to even think straight. Okay. I hate her so much. You hate her now? All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from her relationship, they're all lies. Why must I always be the one to fill the damn pitcher? When did the place get so out of hand? I hate dust, and so did she, but there's a whole freaking cake of it! If I kicked the nightstand, the dust would billow up and swallow me like a desert storm! I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to remember. The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry, even. Why must life always end up so sordid and hateful? I'm not crawling in there. I'm too riled up for that, and it's, it's just not dark enough anyway. I'm too upset to even think straight. So much. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Why is the music so loud? How could I have doting on her hair like a child? But I'm, I'm being unfair. Would I have wanted her to be some frump? I'm too angry to even care. All she cared about was herself all along. Her needs, her feelings. That's all that ever mattered to her. What about mine? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number on me. Sure. She never descended to criticizing my looks, though. Even when we fought, even when my hairline started going. But it was a sore point for me. Well, she did, she did not use it against you, so at least she cared. At least she was nice enough not to do that. My thoughts are all over the place. Get it together, damn it. I tried to flush these a long time ago, but someone noticed. As if she cared about my impotent life. But she did. High blood pressure. What a load of bull. I've never felt better in my life. You're probably dead, aren't you? I'm sick and tired of having to pamper you like a baby. Fine, I hope you have a great, lonely time at the hospital. I torture myself trying to remember. Sounds like you were kind of an asshole and you lost her. And you're blaming her. Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Just run away. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else, just for a while. But I, I can't even remember what we argued about. Unless she was the one who left. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. You don't even know who left. She once told me how I supposedly used words to fool her somehow, but what did she think this stuff was? Natural? So you lied to her and you equate that to wearing perfume? How was I supposed to react when she used this anyway? She knew I loved her, it's not like we have to say it over and over again. Uh... It's kind of good to remind people that you care. The smell of this disgusts me. So many lies, so much deceit. She probably left it here just to spite me. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Sunlight, birdsong, 
nothing feels worse when there's no hope. No chance of anything. <laughs> 